track the ball all the way in, all the way down to here, where you have to then get to here before getting it into your hand. That's taking you out of the game for anything from 250 to 300 milliseconds, which is huge, as you know, and at the elite level of hurling. As opposed to saying, if I can anticipate by judging where it's bouncing, the flight of the ball, then I'm actually not having to take myself out of the game. I'm actually able to catch it like this. I'm not having to look down at my hand, and I've never out of the game. And one of the most effective tools for that are what we call chin-up occlusion goggles. So now all I can see is directly what's in front of my eyes. At and below that, I can't see. Nice. You have to then start reading the direction of that ball a lot earlier because you won't be able to see it when it's closer to the body. And again, let's go. Focus in nice and early. So you can imagine a, a 10, 11, 12 year old um, obtaining this type of practice from that age. I wish, you know, I had this 10 years ago. I can only imagine where I'd be an ounce player. Urgency, get that game speed. Context is critical here. And again, the best athletes never stop looking for the next level. And if you as a coach are able to provide them with a stimulus that thinks that there is another level, that's where that cycle of progression just keeps going and going. The results are magical because then they start doing things on the field, on the court, on the course that they never thought that they could do. When I think back in 2014, I suppose press rewind from the time